So there's our mast, more or less. What we need to do now is to just get our drawing, get our tape measure, make sure we're the right sort of sizes where we need to be the right sort of sizes, decide how we're going to plane up this lower section, which is a, ends up as a tapering square into the mast step. Mark that up, shave that off, measure the length, mark where our shoulder is going to be for our mast band at the top. So we'll do that. I'll find the tape measure. Back to our drawing, we're looking at 14 inches from the seat where the mouse goes through the seat down to the mouse step. I'll just go and find my calipers just to give it a measure. So if we allow a couple of inches at the bottom, look at 14 inches is where our seat is. So if we if we just have a measure up here. Feels fairly round anyway. And we're looking at two and three quarter, which is good. So we're looking at that there. 14 inches down is where our base of our mast is going to be. We can, uh, one way of drawing a square line round a round thing is to get a sheet of paper or a sheet of cardboard or something with a straight edge. A sanding belt is handy for something this size. And just wrap it around so that it, it lines up with itself. Draw around it and you've got a, a fairly square line to cut to. Next thing we need to do, because I've sanded away my pencil marks, alright, it says on there that that should be the back of the mast. That's the side we left straight. But we just want to because the top just kicked off that little bit we just want to check and see how much of the top we're chopping off so mast overall is 13 foot 4 so that'll be 13 foot 6 from the bottom there One, two, three, four. That's going to be the top of our mast, so that's, that's quite handy. We're cutting off 19 inches at the top. Which is the bit with a bit of a kick in it, I think. So I'll just get a saw, trim off the bottom, mark up where we've got to plane it to.
So we'll find the center of our mast. And now the square at the bottom that we want to be left with is inch and an eighth square. Our rule is an inch, so we can uh, use that as a rough guide as long as we leave the pencil lines there. So that's the square at the bottom of the mast we want to be left with. We can come maximum of 14 inches up into our line there. So all we're looking to do now really is just to plane away like that so we get down to our line here and run out to nothing there then we can just smooth the corners off and that should sit in our last step. ourselves a bit of uh, timber to play with. So all we need to do now really is just tidy up this this end of the Now we just take off the sharp corners. That's the lower end of the mast done. We're going to give it a sand all the way up now to try and get rid of the circular scratches that the sanding belt left and we've got to cut the top off 13 foot 4 from the bottom or we'll certainly mark where that is and then we can measure it sort out the shoulder for the mast band then we're ready to cut it off really Thirteen foot four. It's there, where I marked it previously. I lost my pencil. There it is. There's our little mast band that's going to go at the top of the mast. 
so we've just got to reduce the diameter to fit that really. We were aiming for the diameter there to be two inches and it's just a fraction over sixteenth over but that's fine, that's not a problem. Our mouse band is inch and three quarters. So what I'm going to do, we're going to mark a, a square line around the mast and when it's like this I usually get the router out and just router a groove reducing the mast by the same amount all the way round, reducing it down to the diameter of the mast band. This is the top of our mast. Our mast band is going to sit there. So we need the shoulder, leave a little bit of wood sticking out the top but not too much. Find a decent section of sanding belt. Right, right around there. Saw a little cut down along that line and a nice clean edge for the router to work to. I'll just put a saw cut down there because that's going to be the top of our mast. Get the router. So what we need to do is work out the difference between the diameter we've got and the diameter of the band. That was one and three quarter inches. The mast was two and a sixteenth. So that's five sixteenths difference in diameter which means we want to set the router cutter to half that depth because they're half each side so that's five thirty seconds of an inch which is a bit difficult to measure <laughs> 